Hi everyone. Well, as you can see, I have been busy using up more of my scraps. I've been collaging little bits and pieces onto some tapes and <clears throat> excuse me, and creating uh, these little tapes that I can use in my mixed media art. This one's kind of vintagey looking. Oops, I keep dropping my paper. This one was a mixture of a whole bunch of different colors. And, uh, and then I decided to start doing different color families together. And it really worked out beautifully. And I'll be able to use a lot of my scraps. And they're already combined into colors that go well together. And they won't be the same as if I had created all of them with just a mishmash of all my scraps. Most of these are the bits and pieces, the leftovers from when I was cutting out all of those leaves. I did add a few more of my other scraps in to mix in with it. Like for instance here, there's some security envelope, this little red uh, spot here. Um, there's also a little bit of the uh, painted drywall tapes you can see here. Um, there's a little bits of fabric, just tiny little leftover pieces of fabric too. Let me see if I can find one of those. Um, yes, right here, this green swirly pattern is fabric. Here's another bit of it right here. There's one here. Um, it's just using these things up and putting them, you know, in, in the same way that I cut all those leaves so I could put them in a form that I could use. I felt like this was a good way to put the leftovers of all those leaves and things into a form that I could use. And so I wanted to uh, share the, the process of creating this. It's very simple. I, um, I used for the wider ones, I used this uh, medical tape, okay? And it worked just fine. And then I also um, grabbed some of this purple tape. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit more low tack. It's not real, real, real sticky. Like, I, I, I say lower tack than like regular masking tape would be. It's just you know, it's it's less. And I have some of this in my uh, Amazon store because I do recommend it. It's a good tape. Um, and, and I do like this little medical tape too. So I believe there's some of this in my store and you can also find this at the dollar store. So um, I wanted to show you, there's an empty spot right here because I have another uh, batch of tape and that's the one that I filmed so that you can see the process and I'm going to just show you a little bit of it It's not going to be the entire thing because it's basically just gluing scraps onto a piece of tape And what I do as you'll see is I put down several strips at one time and then I just cover over the whole thing and uh, Cut it apart after that
right, so that's the um, that's the strip that I made last, and uh, I really love it. It's three pieces of tape, and I'm just going to cut this apart, and um, I, I just basically place the tape pretty close together. Just leave the smallest gap. If you leave too much of a gap, then you have to trim it off on both sides of each piece. But if you if you squish it up pretty close together. Um, you can just cut through one time between the tapes and you don't have to do a whole lot of excess trimming of a tiny bit of paper hanging over. So that's the reason I did that. And I love these colors. I love all the colors of these tapes. I really do. If you have any deli paper scraps, I did have some deli paper scraps and some tissue paper I add and a, even a little bit of napkin. I tried to add those on top of where I had... Uh, already attached papers because the the tape I started with in this case was the purple and um, So you would see purple through like if you had a tissue paper that maybe you stamped on Okay, so you would see the purple through that now if you want to see the color of your tape through that's fine You can do it in any way that works best for you But um, I just love how these look. I just love them so um I wanted to also mention that in the original um, uh, morsel way back in 2016, when I made some uh, washi style tape, I used wax paper to uh, create my tapes on. This time you saw I used a craft mat. And it's much easier to peel your tapes up off of that. And, um, and then I think it's gonna be better to use something like freezer paper. Um, for the low-tack tape especially, it's, um, it's not going to stick to it and pull apart, I don't believe. Now, I'm, for me personally, I'm not going to place this piece of paper that's holding my tapes. I'm not going to place it underneath something heavy where it's going to sit and get pressed and pressed and pressed down. I'm going to make sure I keep it on top of wherever I store it. It's just going to like lightly lay on top of something so that these tapes don't press into the paper and then want to tear when I take them off. But you can see that <clears throat> they're not really, they're not really sticking, you know, extremely. I mean, they, they're just kind of loosely laying on there. So, uh, I think freezer paper is a good way to go. I tried parchment paper. That's this one. And, um, you guys know what this is for, that you use for baking, and it, it just really would not stick to this paper at all. <laughs> it just wouldn't. Let me get one of these off and see. Um, I tried with uh, the purple one, maybe, I think it was. So I, you know, I pressed it on there, and then I walked away, and a few minutes later I came back, and you can see it just fell off. <laughs> so the parchment paper really doesn't work, um, but the freezer paper holds on to it well enough to kind of keep it together. So, um, that's what I've been working on for the past few days, and, um, I really, really enjoyed it. I mean, look at the, look at the page full of beautiful color and usable tape that I'm going to be able to use, and it all came from scraps, just like that. I mean, literally, this box was almost full, so you can see that there's a lot of, there's a lot that's been used. Um, this is a little piece of tissue paper that was got mixed in there. Um, I wanted to show you that on this purple, I had some uh, daisy chain um, that I had punched a while back, and I found it in my scrap drawer, and I laid it next on uh, on, to, on top of my purple tape, and I loved it. So that's what I did. I made some strips, little stripes of. Uh, flowers, and then I added a few individual ones. I cut them apart and then just kind of placed them here and there on the, on, on the purple tape. And I love how that looks. Um, some of these others, uh, this uh, this is a, a triangle, is a black, um, the black triangle is a stamp, one of my carved stamps where uh, it stamps three in a row. And uh, I cut it apart. I was looking to see if I I did have one sitting here, but I don't see anymore. Anyway, it stamps three triangles, and um, I laid it on the tape, and I felt like it was a little too heavy uh, in the black, so I cut out all of the triangles using my water brush because it was on tissue paper. And then I just glued each one down. Uh, I did the same thing with um, 
numbers that had been stamped on tissue paper here. So all the little numbers that you see on this tape is uh, has been stamped on tissue paper, and then I just put them down with some collage posh on the top. Um, these black uh, items here are rub-ons. Uh, just using up some stuff that I've had in my stash for forever. Oh, and the black uh, marks here are little bits of washi tape. I had punched, I had put washi tape on a, a piece of paper and I had, a oh, wax paper, and I had punched out some circles one time. And so these are the negative space that was left over uh, after I had punched out the circles. So I used them. Um, anything else? Let's see. This black here is some... Um, purchased tissue paper uh, that I just tore apart, uh, little scraps that I had laying around. I, I tore them, stuck them on there. And the white you see here are some rub-on, uh, doodle rub-ons that I'm just using. Like I said, they're in my stash. I'm just using them. And uh, I mentioned about the drywall tape. You can see it here a little bit more closely. There's a teal color and a green color right here. And um, I wanted to show you what I created um, with a piece of this. This was a little bit longer. It was more this length. And uh, I'm going to show you. I made a little something using that because I just loved how that uh, vintage-looking piece turned out. Okay, so here's the um, item I made. It's just a little tag, a little vintage -y style tag. And I just collaged different papers onto the uh, top of the tag. Um, this is and they were all scraps <clears throat> using up scraps from my stash this is the piece of uh the tape that i put on the bottom and i really just love how this looks it's so sweet these are some of my stamps that i had stamped onto uh book paper back a while back and then this was one of those little uh tim holtz uh cards they're like little flash cards you know and they have words on them and i put a piece of the tim holtz washi across there and um, I liked the way that looked because the it was just a little too blank and I wanted to put add some more color to it and then I edged it with some ink and kind of dirtied it up uh, on the top to give it more of an older look and this is one of his little tiny um, little tiny clips so I'm just clipping it on the side and this is going to be a perfect little addition if I can get the clip on here it's going to be the perfect little addition to um, a little junk journal sometime you know, I like to make those little vintage junk journals, and so this is going to be awesome. And I loved this little button. It says art. So I thought that was a sweet little tag, and I loved being able to use my brand new tape to create it with. So now I'm going to make something else. I'm going to create another page in my altered book uh, that, I'm, that I've been working on, and I'm going to use some of my tapes and um, just create a fun little page.
that we've gotten this much um, done and I really love it. And I realized when I was off camera that the a lot of the black in the stripes where I placed them, they look a little heavy to the right. So I tore out another little piece of that tissue paper and I'm gonna put a little bit more black right here. Cause I think it just kind of helps to balance it out a little. I'm not sure why uh, it just looks like it would be right to me. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. Put that on just a little bit right there and put some on my brush too. Just uh, glue this little piece there. I just love how it turned out. It's so whimsical, and of course, I mean, that's just <laughs> that's what I usually do, but I really, really do love it. So, I've got a couple more things I want to do real quick to finish it off. Yeah, I think that looks better. I started doing a little bit of shading on uh, shadowing actually on one side over here so I'm gonna go on up uh, this side and and see how I like it just on one side I think it will look uh, fine and it will give the whole cake I think a little bit more dimension And let's see. I'm gonna go right around the strawberry. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, and then uh, I wanted to add just a, a thin border around maybe just the top portion of the page. So I'm just gonna do a real loose little thin border. Uh, close to the edges here. Let me add one more. So we have a loose scribbly little border. I don't want it to be too heavy because I don't want anything to take away from the the sweet little cake. Okay. All right. So um, the last thing is I'm going to write a title across the top of the page, but I'm not going to write it yet because I've decided that I want to. <clears throat> I want to have a little contest, and I've already named this cake, okay? I, I already know what type of cake this is. And I want to see if you guys can guess what type of cake this is. What 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 did I name this cake? So I'm going to get uh, a little card real quick so that I can write it down, and I'm going to seal it up in an envelope. And then in a couple of days, we'll see if anyone got it right. And if one got it right, then there'll be a prize for that person. If more than one person gets it, then I'll draw from all of the correct entries. Okay, so I have a piece of paper and have a little envelope to put it in. And um, this, uh, this is the type of cake that is a real type of cake, only the one that I made, of course, is a whimsical. Uh, version of it, but it's a real type of cake, and I'm not talking about a um, a celebration like a birthday cake or a Christmas cake. I'm talking about the type of cake that I made. So I'm going to write it down inside this little card, and then I'm going to put it in the envelope. Okay, so I'm going to keep it kind of covered here, and it's hard to hold it down, but I don't think you can see anything. <laughs> okay, here we go. 
Okay, so it's a it's a it's a known type of cake, and <clears throat> I just want to see if any of you can guess what I named it. <laughs> okay, so it's getting sealed right now, completely sealed. And I'm not going to take it out. I'm just doing this so that you guys know I'm being fair, and I'm not changing the name of it at any point. Okay, there's some marks there showing I haven't opened the envelope. Okay. So here it is, and I'm going to keep it in the book. And uh, let's say, see, today is, this is, um, probably video is going to go up on, tomorrow on Wednesday. So Wednesday is the 27th. And let's say we'll go through, <clears throat> we'll go through uh, Saturday. Let's go through the weekend. We'll set, we'll finish it up on Saturday. And then, um, I'm Sunday, I'm sorry. We'll finish it up on Sunday at midnight, and then Monday I'll come back and let you know what I found in the comments, and we'll open up this envelope, and we'll see who was right, and like I said, if there's more than one person that got it right, um, then I will draw, draw from those um, entries that were correct, okay? So thanks for joining me today, guys. I had a blast making this little page. It was just so fun and, and kind of spur of the moment, really, because I had the idea for what I wanted to do uh, as far as the, the making the cake uh, yesterday. And then today is when I decided, you know what, I'm going to include it in this video about the tape. So <laughs> I'm glad I did because um, I really had fun uh, creating it, and um, it just makes me really happy. So I hope it makes you happy, too. And um, we'll be back in a few days to uh, let you know about the drawing. And like I said, there'll be a prize. So you guys put your thinking caps on, and I look forward to seeing what your guesses are. All right, see you soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.